More money in the pockets of Rhode Islanders. A one-time rebate will be sent out to eligible families in the coming months. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Brian Yacono. And I'm Chelsea Jones. Governor Dan McKee's office made remarks in Newport this morning and says about 115,000 households will qualify. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie was in Newport to learn more about that program today. She joins us live in studio. Alex. Brian and Chelsea, this added boost for families will start to trickle in as the new school year gets underway as soon as October, depending on when you filed your 2021 taxes. The Federal Reserve announced Tuesday the high cost of living has led to the United States household debt surpassing $16 trillion in the second quarter of this year. We know that we're in a, a time frame where there is inflationary pressure on all of us in the state of Rhode Island, but in particular to our families. Governor Dan McKee says there is some help for those families in the form of a one-time child tax rebate. Eligible households can receive $250 per qualifying child, up to a maximum of three children. Think about what that's going to do right now. 115,000 Rhode Island families across the state are going to benefit from this uh, credit. Individual tax filers are eligible if they make $100,000 or less, and those filing jointly must make $200,000 or less. The qualifying child Dependent also must have been 18 or under as of December 31st of last year. The best part of the program is if you filed and you're eligible uh, financially to meet the terms of the requirements, you don't have to fill out an application. So Brian and Chelsea, a few dates to keep in mind. Hopefully you have finished filing your taxes by the April deadline. Hopefully you did that already. Or if you're filing an amendment to your taxes by the August 31st deadline, you can expect a rebate as early as October. If you're filing an extension and do so by the October 17th deadline, the Division of Taxation says you'll have to wait for that rebate until December. Also, if you've had a change of address since filing, you're also advised to let the state know so that that check will go ahead to the correct address. You want it to show up to the right place. Everybody has the <laughs> questions, when is my money going to come? So is there any way to track when those payments start going out? Right, so the Division of Taxation says as soon as September, there will be a tool to be able to do that, similar to how you track your state tax refund. Right. Brian and Chelsea. Keep our eye out for that. Alex, thanks so much for joining thanks. us live in the studio today. An estimated 115,000 Rhode Island families should expect to see rebate checks in the mail in the coming weeks. At an event in Newport this morning, Governor Dan McKee announced details of the new Rhode Island Child Tax Rebate, a program that was created in the 2023 budget he signed in June. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie was at the event and joins us live in studio now with how to know if you qualify. Well, Shannon, at a time when the Federal Reserve says U.S. household debt has surpassed $16 trillion in the second quarter of this year, money for struggling and qualifying households will start to trickle in in between October and the end of this year. Governor Dan McKee says a state surplus was able to help Rhode Islanders in a number of ways, including a new child tax rebate built into the 2023 budget. There is no need to apply. If you qualify, you will receive your rebate in the mail. Families with up to three children are eligible for up to $250 per qualifying child. The qualifying child dependent also must have been 18 or under as of December 31st of last year. Think about what that's going to do right now. 115,000 Rhode Island families across the state are going to benefit from this uh, credit. Marissa Portillo is a wife and mother of four. Three of her children are currently still enrolled in Newport Public Schools. She says her family struggled when the pandemic hit, especially after her husband, a contractor, lost his job. At the time, we are so behind with bills, rent, and it was so difficult to bring food to our table because two of my children suffer severe food allergies and access to the, to the food pantry was not an option. Individual tax filers will be eligible if they make $100,000 or less, and those filing jointly must make $200,000 or less. Portillo says she's grateful for the extra money coming her family's way. And bring food to our table, medicine, and house supplies. The State Division of Taxation says sometime in September there will be a tool to be able to track your refund, tracking where your state, uh, similar to what tracking your state refund is like during tax season. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.